After this, I go to Lima, Peru. Donc, pour faire ce contre, on va dans Lima, Peru. In Lima, Peru, they do the meeting out in an open stadium area. Open. In a, 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 in Like now I am going to Lima, Peru and I've already announced that when I get to Lima, Peru and walk is an open field where the big meeting is taking place and when I walk in there and I've seen myself standing there and commanding heaven saying, listen to me heaven I command you to open and release the Holy Spirit rain I have seen there is going to be a mega, mega visitation in Lima, Peru. In Lima, Peru, he commands heaven and heaven obeys him and opens and rains come down and the voice of God speaks to him and says, look now, tremendous torrents of the anointing of the Lord are pouring. I have seen Lima, Peru. The heavens are going to open there when the Lord sends me there, when I get there, when I arrive there. Welcome to our nation, Peru. Bienvenido a nuestro país, Peru. It's an honor. Es un honor that you be here. Que usted esté aquí to open para abrir the heaven, los cielos. To bring y traer the revival. Avivamiento. Visitation. La visitación. Today, hoy, is a historic es un histórico. Day. Es un día histórico. Mighty Father, Poderoso Padre, Father tonight, Padre en esta noche, I stand before your mighty counsel, Jehovah. Yo me paro delante de tu poderoso consejo, Jehovah. And ask you, my Father, y te pido, mi Padre, to open heaven here tonight, abrir los cielos aquí en esta noche, today, hoy, and bring rain here, y traiga lluvia acá. In the mighty name of Jesus. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Lord, welcome here, Lord. Señor, bienvenido aquí, Señor. We are waiting for you to open heaven here. Estamos esperando que abran los cielos acá. Lord, welcome here, Lord. Señor, bienvenido aquí, Señor. We are waiting for you to open heaven here. Estamos esperando que abran los cielos acá. Let it rain. Que llueva. Let it rain now. Que llueva ahora. Lord, let it rain. Señor, que llueva ahora. Open the heavens now. Abro los cielos ahora. Open the heavens now. Abro los cielos ahora. Small drops of rain are falling on me. Lluvia rain is falling on me. Hallelujah. Está lloviendo. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! Drops of rain are falling on me. Lluvias, 
gota de lluvia está cayendo sobre mí. Pronto reina fuego por mí. Gota de ¡Aleluya! 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 Está cayendo lluvia.
oro. Está lloviendo oro. Está lloviendo oro. Está lloviendo oro. La situación. There is a visitation here. senior pastors met me at the airport Cuando los pastores principales me recibieron el aeropuerto, and they received me upon arrival y me recibieron en la llegada, they said one thing ellos dijeron una cosa, they said prophets of the Lord ellos di dijeron, profetas del Señor, we receive you into this land nosotros le recibimos a esta nación, that you may come into this country para que tú venga a este país, and open heaven over this country. Y abrir los cielos sobre este país. And I want to say this today yo quiero decir esto hoy, that now as I leave this country que ahora cuando yo salgo de este país, the heavens are open over this land of Peru. Los cielos están abiertos sobre esta tierra de Peru. And right now as I leave y ahora mismo, mientras yo me voy, I want to say this to this country yo quiero decir esto a este país, before the senior church leadership delante de los líderes de la iglesia, that there is heavy rain coming. Ahí viene una lluvia pesada. I see a lot of rain in the underpass bridges. Yo veo mucha lluvia debajo de los puentes. The, the, the way vehicles drive and other vehicles go down. Donde lo, uh, lo vuel, eh, lo vehículos pasan arriba y abajo en el elevado. I've also seen rain today also. También hoy yo he visto lluvia también. A lot of rain is coming. Muchísima lluvia viene. Heaven is now open. Los cielos ahora están abiertos. Heaven is open over Lima and Peru. Los cielos están abiertos sobre Lima y Peru. Now you can run. Ahora pueden correr. And get something to eat. Y conseguir algo de comer. Because a heavy rain is coming. Porque viene una lluvia pesada. May the Lord bless this nation. Que el Señor bendiga esta nación. As I live. Mientras yo voy. In the mighty name of Jesus. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Palabra profética cumplida, palabra profética cumplida, está lloviendo inmensamente, está corriendo inmensamente, miren ahí ya, ya, ya se generó un río ahí, la gloria de Dios, ah, inmensamente está lloviendo, miren, miren las gototas que está cayendo, aleluya, aleluya, gloria a Dios, gloria a Dios, en serio, miren, Miren esas gotas, están cayendo fuerte, bien cumplido, como dijo el profeta, bien dicho, que iba a llover fuerte, bien dicho está, Dios mío, aleluya. Los cielos del Perú se han abierto, miren esa nube de allá, esa nube gloriosa, wow, serio, qué gloria. Que Dios me los bendiga a todos, a todos, que Dios me los bendiga, miren, yo estoy acá parado, ya mi... Mi ropa está recontra mojada, mojadita. Es algo glorioso ver que Dios haya puesto sus ojos en Perú.
Jesus love you, Jesus. Forever. Don't stop. Don't stop. I don't know how many people. I don't know. Only the Lord knows. How many million people? Shoulder to shoulder. at the corner come out. These women have come from Ibarua. Close your eyes, the women from the Shamba. Mighty Father, you are the father of Naivasha. You are the father of these precious women who have been working the whole day in the field. Mighty Holy Spirit, I welcome you to visit this field and visit these women and touch.
lift up your hands very high. Levante su mano bien, muy alto. The fire of the Lord is going to fall here. El fuego del Señor va a caer aquí. Close your eyes, worship Him. Cierre sus ojos, equipo de adoración. Mighty Father. Poderoso Padre. Now you can clean up the worship team. Ahora pueden limpiar el equipo de adoración. Let your fire fall on this altar. Para que tu fuego caiga sobre este altar. Over there now. Touch, 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 touch.
Almighty Father, Baba Mko, now you can breathe on them. <laughs> I'm going to pass by you. Ninaenda kupita karibu nanyi. And the glory of the Lord will touch you as I pass by you. Nitakapopita karibu na nyinyi.
This is Lord Radio broadcasting live from Nakuru, Kenya on 105.3 and 105.9 FM and globally through the web stream. Well, the two mightiest, mightiest and most dreadful and most ancient prophet of the Lord God are about to come live on air any minute now. I see many, many nations tuned in any minute now. The two mightiest, mightiest and dreadful prophet of the Lord God are about to come live on air any minute now. Well, uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me this past night. The Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the mighty God of Israel, the creator of the universe, the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord God, he has spoken to me, blessed people, in a very tremendous conversation. The Lord took me to Israel, and this is a very, very important conversation, because there is going to be a discovery that will take place in Israel. I've seen it. He opened it for me. I read it. He took me to Israel this past night, and he took me to a particular place. There is a road that leads there, and there were two ladies that were driving on that road, and I had to march. I was driving also in there, though they could not see me, but I was driving, so I had to march the traffic, march in the middle lane, and then march to the left. Uh, it took me to a specific place where there's going to be discovery in Israel. The archaeologists are going to dig. They're going to dig out and dig and then make a discovery of some very powerful writing that were written in the ancient times and very powerful writing. The Lord opened them for me. I've already read them, but they're deep down right now buried. However, archaeologists are going to dig them out, and the writings of Judah. Judah says this. Judah. It talks about Judah, the writings about Judah. And you know, Judah is a very sensitive name, a very sensitive tribe. Because you know that our Lord and Savior came from the tribe of Judah. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. So these writings were written in the ancient times. There's going to be a very significant discovery in Israel. The Lord has spoken with me this night. He took me to Israel. And then the Lord dig very deep into the ground. And he pulls out. Under the ground, it shows me the writings that were written in ancient times. And then it makes me read uh, the writings that were written in Hebrew, in that language then, in their script. But the Lord now translates for me, and he reads together with me. God the Father reads together with me. I see his hand holding the writing. And it's written on what looks like a piece of pottery at the back of it. And then after that, he makes it very clear. He goes through the entire text. And then uh, this then, he says, will now be discovered. It will be discovered soon. And uh, it will be in the news all over. This very critical writing. He told me it's very important writing important uh, script that was written in ancient times that has very important implications to this generation, to the state of Israel, to the Church of Christ, and also to the nations, to the whole earth. So this is something that is coming up very deep inside the soil, but you will allow now the scientists to open, just like the cave where the first ministry began when John the Baptist arrived. Just like that prophecy that I gave from the Western Hemisphere, that that cave would be discovered, he would allow people to discover it. So it is now with this that he will allow now the scientists, the people that excavate, archaeologists, to find these writings. They're very critical writings, very important writings. Now, 
this is going to take place. It will be in the news when it does. And this kind, this discovery is going to be a very significant discovery for the church and for the nations and for the nation of Israel and also towards the glorious coming of the Messiah. So there is going to be a discovery, a very significant discovery in Israel. The, 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 the archaeologists are going to dig deep down and they're going to reach a place and an earth and bring out some very significant writings that write about Judah. They write about Judah, and uh, I've already seen the writings. They're written in Hebrew, but I've read them already. I've read them because the Lord has translated them for me. This night, we were reading it together with the Lord. The Lord was opening up with, with his hand and making me read through it. The, the writing, the ancient writings that have been written on, on a piece of pottery. It looks like a piece of pottery as if the back of a pot or uh, some clay, clay work. But ancient writings are going to be discovered writing about Judah. So there's going to be a very significant discovery in Israel very soon, blessed people. And this discovery is going to be very significant in the life of the nation of Israel, the state of Israel. And it's also going to be extremely significant to the church. Right now they are buried, they are very deep, but the Lord is going to lead archaeologists to find them. I see two ladies, they're driving two different cars, and the Lord took me, I was also driving on that road, and then I had to march, I wanted to march left most, but I had to march into the middle first, for the other traffic to pass, I can then march later on the left. And that is how it was. And the Lord led me all through up to that place where the writings are. The Lord has taken me to Israel. There's going to be a significant discovery of writings, archaeological writings, that took place in ancient times, ancient Israel. And this is going to be a significant discovery for humanity for the state of Israel, for the church, and for the whole world. But the writings of Judah, it, it's written in Hebrew, but the Lord now wrote it for me. It translated for me in English, but the, the, into the writing of that time. So the J, almost, the, the tail of the J goes almost up. You would think it's a D because it almost touches the, the stroke up there. It's a very beautiful situation that happened. The Lord was reading together with me, was opening and reading together with me. The Messiah is coming, prepare ye the way of the Lord. June 5th, 2020. I give a prophecy alert today that there is soon going to be a significant discovery in Israel. Of ancient Hebrew writings about Judah. They are going to be discovered in Israel. And the first time I gave this prophecy was June 12th, the year 2019. And I give it today, June 5th, the year 2020. This is an event that has not yet happened.
Ancient Storage Center has recently been exposed at archaeological excavations in the Arnona neighborhood in Jerusalem. The excavation conducted by the Israel Antiquities Authorities revealed a site which is unusually large, a structure built of concentric walls. Now, of particular interest, 120 jar handles were found bearing seal impressions containing ancient Hebrew script. Archaeologists uncovered more than 100 unique seals on jar handles, many stamped with the ancient Hebrew word lemelech, which means to the king or belonging to the king. למעלה כתוב בכתב עברי קדום, ארטיות ל"מ, ל"כ, למלך, ומתחת לסמל מופיעים שמות אחד מארבעה מקומות, חברון, זיף, סוחו או ממשק. תביעה פרטית שנושאת את שמו של משולם אל נתן, אולי היה פקיד חשוב בממלכת יהודה. This site has revealed a huge host of discoveries. אנחנו נמצאים בקצה של המבנה הממלכתי, מימי ממלכת יהודה. אפשר לראות פה אבני גיר גדולות, מסוטטות. די ברור שכזה מבנה, בכזה גודל, עם כאלו אבנים, זה מבנה ציבורי. But that's not all. As for the building itself, experts say it likely served as a government activity center during the reign of King Hezekiah at the start of the 7th century BCE. It was used to store surplus food as well as collect taxes, though the site also reveals details of a biblical standoff between the invading Assyrian armies and those of the Judean king. We found a lot of people who found a lot of people who found a lot of people. Hezekiah knows that Sanchiriv is going to come to Yehuda and later on to the Yerushalayim. And in terms of these things, he has to be able to get more than a little bit. למעלה כתוב בכתב עברי קדום, ארטיות ל"מ, ל"כ, למלך, ומתחת לסמל מופיעים שמות אחד מארבעה מקומות, חברון, זיף, סוחו או ממשק. תביעה פרטית שנושאת את שמו של משולם אל נתן, אולי היה פקיד חשוב בממלכת יהודה. A significant storage center has recently been exposed at archaeological excavations in the Arnona neighborhood in Jerusalem. The excavation conducted by the Israel Antiquities Authorities revealed a site which is unusually large, a structure built of concentric walls. Now, of particular interest, 120 jar handles were found bearing seal impressions containing ancient Hebrew script. Now, earlier I asked Professor Israel Finkelstein, a professor of archaeology at Tel Aviv University, about the significance of this discovery. Well, it takes us back to the 7th century BC, to late monarchic times. And the uh, finds at Arnona are important because they show the significant growth of uh, Jerusalem and Judah economically and politically, if you wish, and, of course, from the administrative point of view. So this is the period when Jerusalem and Judah, under Assyrian patronage, becomes a very important player on the scene of the Levant. At that time, Judah was well organized, and they, it needed to pay uh, taxes to the... Assyrian overlords, and they had to collect agricultural output, uh, wine and oil and things like this. And the seal impressions were impressed. <clears throat> the impressions were put on handles of storage art, which were used for the collection of taxes, uh, which made it possible for Judah, first of all, to pay the Assyrians and also to conduct an, 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 an advanced economy in Judah itself. I am now standing between two of the walls 
of the major Iron Age structure that we've uncovered. Archaeologists say the site is one of the most significant recent discoveries from the 8th century BC. That's known in the Bible as the time of the kings in Jerusalem. The excavation is here in the southern part of Jerusalem. Behind me is the new U.S. Embassy. Archaeologists say it's ironic that this area served as an administrative center 2,700 years ago, and now it's home to an embassy. This site has three aspects that are unparalleled. The stamp seals, the monumental architecture, and the stone heap proves without beyond reasonable doubt the administrative nature of this site. Located about two miles from ancient Jerusalem, it appears the government managed and stored food supplies for the kingdom here. They also collected wine and olive oil, the tax payment of that time. The site is dated to a turbulent time when the Assyrian king Sennacherib was trying to conquer the cities of Judah. Still, the excavation shows the site remained active with uninterrupted tax collection. Archaeologists also found human and animal figurines. The Bible says not to do idol worship, and it repeats it, and the prophets warn about this time and time again. The reason for warning is that they keep reverting back to the idol worship, um, and it seems like these were very common in every single household. One of the mysteries is a huge mound of flint stones that archaeologists believe covered a large building. <laughs> Nearby, workers are uncovering the remains of a wide wall. We think these are looted elements, ancient looting, of a, of a monumental structure that still exists maybe to some degree under the pile. The discovery came during a salvage excavation conducted before the construction of a new neighborhood. The, the writing, the ancient writing that have been written on, on a piece of pottery. It looks like a piece of pottery as if the back of a pot or some clay, clay work, but ancient writings are going to be discovered. A significant storage center has recently been exposed at archaeological excavations in the Arnona neighborhood in Jerusalem. Now, of particular interest, 120 jar handles were found bearing seal impressions containing ancient Hebrew script. Archaeologists uncovered more than 100 unique seals on jar handles.
uh, this previous night, the Lord spoke with me about the nation of Israel. And it was a very relentless conversation that went on until this morning. And in that conversation, the Lord lifted me up above Israel and he showed me the state of Israel, the nation of Israel. And he showed me all the borders of the state of Israel. And then Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Olam, the God of Israel, he showed me the heavenly hosts that were released. And they stood on the borders of Israel. Every place where there is a border, there was like this, a lot of heavenly hosts. They were standing to guard Israel. They stood on every inch of the border of Israel, from north to south and back, from north all the way. They covered every single inch of the border was covered by somebody standing, a heavenly host. So I saw a lot of heavenly hosts, and they were moving. There was a movement. It was not just standing. They were moving. They were moving back and forth, back and forth by the borders of Israel. They were moving with flaming swords. Again, I saw the heavenly hosts released, and I saw them totally surround Israel, cover the borders of Israel, protect Israel, protect every inch of the boundary of Israel. And then the voice of the Lord said, Then they shall fear the God of Israel. And then after that, the Lord showed me also the glory, His glory that went and covered Israel. Again, covered the borders of Israel as the heavenly hosts were standing there. His glory that covered the, 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 the borders of the state of Israel, the borders, just the borders, to protect Israel. So the Lord, the God of heaven, he that watches Israel, he is aware of what Israel is going through right now. And this is what the Lord says. I myself will now protect my beloved people, the nation of Israel. And it shall be known that Israel is the center of the earth. And these are my covenant people.